Some frightening moments for two firefighters from Tennessee after they were exposed to fentanyl while on a call. As WTVA's Bronson Woodruff reports, two paramedics from Corinth working another call just happened to be in the right place at the right time. It started off as a normal day for two paramedics working for Magnolia Medical Center in Corinth. Things got interesting for the paramedics who were returning from an ER transport call in Jackson, Tennessee. A fire truck flagged the men down, desperate to get them to stop. The Jackson City Fire Department flagged us down, said that they uh, had been working an incident, incident there where they were uh, exposed to fentanyl. Jackson, Tennessee Deputy Fire Chief Don Friddle says the firefighters were responding to a call about a possible fentanyl overdose. The firefighters were likely exposed by simply breathing fentanyl through the air. The firefighters knew they'd been exposed and were on their way to the hospital. The situation took a turn for the worse when they started having breathing problems. The firefighters knew they needed help, and fast. Narcan is the go-to treatment to reverse fentanyl exposure. There are two forms of treatment. We give it IV in the back of the ambulance most of the time because it works faster. And that's what you said you did with these firefighters, you gave it through an IV? Yes sir, you gave them IV, Narcan. The other method of treatment is through the nostrils. This is the most common form of treatment for first responders. The paramedics took the firefighters to a Jackson hospital after the Narcan treatment. We've been told the firefighters are fortunately okay. EMS Director Mike Lutz with Magnolia Medical Center says the Jackson Fire Department contacted them. They just reached out and wanted to get in touch with the guys and, and thank them for their service and for basically being at the right place at the right time. The men have a message about fentanyl. Any exposure to the fentanyl is pretty serious. A couple of months at least, so okay. it's, it's, a, it's a problem. Uh, it's a lot more serious than uh, getting a little high. <laughs> Bronson Woodruff, WTBA 9 News. Lutz says they have had an increase in overdose calls as of late. He says the most common things they're seeing is fentanyl and some heroin. This is probably more alarming than the rise in the number of calls is the amount of Narcan they're having to give just one person, sometimes two to three times the normal dose.